Welcome back to a new video. So this was kind of a mulligan from the previous day's session. I started to do snatches, they weren't going well. I think I was missing like 105 and I was just not feeling recovered from the previous day or just, I just didn't feel like continuing that session. So I just stopped there. So yesterday was kind of a day off in a sense. And I kind of came into today kind of wanting to redo that session, but I was also thinking like I want to do squats and it ended up just turning into this giant session where I was able to do snatching and it went really well. Clean jerks went really well. Back squats, bench, and some deadlifts without traps. So I actually did a, an, actually, an actual super total uh, session. So for snatching, I was able to get up to 115. And I didn't have any misses. I was able to make 115 twice. Got up to 150 uh, in the clean jerk, which honestly didn't feel too bad at all, which was surprising. Um, I thought the clean would be extremely heavy, but uh, just pleasantly surprised that it didn't feel too bad. That's just really, really good. Um, just trying to really finish the pull, um, as I've talked about in other videos a little bit. But also just trying to keep my, my hips back, which allows me to pull the bar longer, at least feel like I'm pulling it longer. And that was feeling pretty good. And just generally, like, even like that 110 there looked a little difficult, but like this first 115 didn't look too good. But the second one I thought looked a lot better. And just happy that it's an increase in the previous week where. I believe I did 110 twice and then 115 once and to have no misses uh, was also uh, really nice and just to have all the lifts feel pretty good. My left shoulder is a little bit sore after the session which you know could be from the snatch, the clean jerk, it could be from the bench press. Definitely not from the back squats or from a deadlift but you know one of the other three things that uh, put some strain on my shoulder so I'll be aware of that um, in tomorrow's session and see you know what kind of things I want to do. Um, in that one, but clean jerks, like I said, felt pretty good. I went from the 70 to 110 to 140 to 150, so so it took some pretty big jumps and threw the belt on for the uh, top sets just to make the jerks feel a little bit better and just to kind of get that practice of having the belt on for some of these heavy reps. I see there, caught the clean pretty well, and the jerk felt pretty good too. I feel like I get my feet out a little bit more, but I don't know, it just feels a lot more consistent right now than it had in the previous weeks just with uh, the fact that I'm confident with my shoulder being able to get behind my head enough and I think it's just it's good progress 115 150 I was kind of worried that I wasn't gonna make the 150 but jerks has been feeling really good lately uh, with back squats because of the fun uh, if you saw a couple of videos ago me just going over that guy commenting on squats I figured I'd try to go five kilos above what that video was where I apparently almost died uh, doing a 220 uh, kilo squat. So that's why I had the collars on for all these warm-up sets just to make the 225 kilos easier to reach. Um, jumped up to this 205 and the 175 actually felt pretty bad but then this 205 felt pretty good. And so I felt pretty confident about the 225 and uh, you know no spots or anything so I just risked my life here. And if you see the short of this clip or you go to Instagram I kind of make a, a trolley comment saying that I almost died and making weird noises after as I'm putting it in but just being a general troll with that. Benching went quite well too. Um, I didn't do any repetitions on this day because I by this point I was like well let's see if I can do a super total of some sort. So I went from 70 to 100 to 120 so I only did the three reps there and honestly the 120 didn't feel too bad. Um, I was starting to feel my shoulder a little bit at this point so I didn't want to try to push past there. I also didn't have any spotting which for the bench press I'm much more worried about than I am with squat because it's a little bit trickier to get off of and I don't know how much I'll push really past this 120 while I'm in the shed just because I'm using an illegal bar which means that the bar is spinning or I guess just any weight lifting bar will but illegals are really good at spinning and so it's not the best bar to bench press with so as long as I'm comfortable with the weight I'm not too worried about it but I don't want to be doing a super heavy weight and have it you know roll off my hands or something like that uh, and then for these deadlifts here got up to 260 I definitely had more if I were to strap up, but as you saw there, I did not use straps, just used the hook grip, and that hurt tremendously because I just don't have the tolerance with those heavy weights uh, with the hook grip. So, I don't know, we'll see if I can uh, push that up at least. Probably the deadlift would be the one that would go up the most. And then obviously, you know, back squats would be nice as well. I'm not too worried about increasing the bench press. If I was just consistently able to do 120 and do some reps there, then I'd be perfectly happy with that. But uh, as you saw, I did quite a lot of work on this day, so we be curious to see how. I feel tomorrow what kind of training I want to do uh, since this day uh, last week it was like a heavy snatch clean jerk way day and then I did the heavy front squats so doing the bench and pulls on this day were even extra work so 
I don't know how uh, recovered I'll feel tomorrow, but we'll see. Get some sleep and get a lot of food and see how I uh, how I bounce back and what kind of stuff I want to do. But that's going to be it for this one. I'll talk to you all in the next video, and I hope you all have a great day. Peace.